Behind me is a very special and very primeval looking fern. It's Cyathea intermedia, a tree fern from New Caledonia. And this is a representative of one of the tallest tree fern species in the world, and, and its native habitat it can get to 100 feet high. So it's amazingly um, tree-like for a fern. It's a very strange thing that ferns can do. And in fact, ferns have developed a whole other way of being a tree from the normal trees we're used to, the trees that have a, a layer of bark on the outside that's alive, and then they build wood inside and can become uh, several hundred feet tall. The tree ferns, actually, they have a very thin stem. They don't produce wood like the flowering trees do, but they actually have these very, very reinforced roots that they, they form a mat of roots over this very thin central stem. And the roots are so strong and so resistant to decay that we use them for often for growing orchids and, uh, and in horticultural media because it drains well and it doesn't break down very easily. And uh, because they're using roots as their main structural element in becoming a tree, um, you can do some very strange things with tree ferns. Like this specific one is actually came to us from Atlanta Botanical Garden as an air layer. So you can actually put sphagnum moss around the trunk, uh, part way up the trunk, and it will form new roots, and then you can cut it off and replant it. Because unlike normal trees, they if you cut the top off, they won't regrow. So you need to get them to regenerate roots and then just lower the top. That's the way you can, you can keep them going. So um, it's a very, very unusual and remarkable tree and very reminiscent of, of ancient times.